Hi everyone, welcome to Advice to Think Twice and welcome to our week ahead reading. So we're going to have a look and see what's coming up for you in the next seven days roughly. Take what resonates as it resonates for you, disregard the rest, never force anything to fit. And as always, thank you for taking the time to like, share, comment, to subscribe if you haven't considered doing so and thank you if you have. Um... We're just gonna, gonna jump right in. Okay, so the Emperor flew out with the Five of Cups and the Seven of Swords with the Queen of Wands. Um, so I feel like um, someone overplayed their hand, someone bluffed. Um, I just get a sense of they didn't wanna cooperate, they didn't wanna apologize, they didn't wanna take ownership, they were just being stubborn. Um, and now they're regretting it. And they might be kind of spying on you to see what you're doing, see what you're, um, yeah, look, Queen of Wands, because you're out there living life and then they're missing you with the Six of Cups because you've shifted your focus from nurturing them or nurturing what you had with them to focusing on yourself for a change because they wouldn't comply they wouldn't do what you asked them to do they wouldn't and I just get the sense of they didn't want to cooperate and they didn't want to apologize they didn't want to take accountability right this is the the kind of person that you went to the table trying to find something that was mutually beneficial but being being very understanding being very open right and then came they came to the table very stubborn very closed off I don't care I want what I want you know, if you like, take it or leave it, like that kind of attitude. And so you might have walked away from something or someone, uh, not talking to them, not dealing with them, looking at, you know, reviewing your commitments, your contracts, if that's the situation, if that's the case. Um, and they're very regretful. This could also be a spouse, a partner, it could also be a father figure. Usually a male f figure, but it doesn't have to be, it just means someone's very um, dominant okay and domineering yeah and I feel like they had an opportunity to meet you in the middle and they chose not to not only that they were very stubborn and un unapologetic about it and I feel like it's really impacted the dynamic that you have and they're very regretful they're not talking about it. They're not talking about how regretful they are. They're not apologizing. They're not reaching out to you. They might do later in the week. But at the at this point in time, they just they're quietly regretting this. But I feel like their their ego doesn't let them talk about it, you know? So again, this is someone who chose their ego over you or your contract or your partnership. And even though they're regretful now, their ego still won't let them do the right thing. And that's their choice, you know? All right, that's a side message. <laughs> Let's see. For my subscribers in the week ahead, what does the week hold for my subscribers? Next seven days for my subscribers, what do they need to know for their highest good? So we have beginning of the week. midweek I think um, I've asked you before and some of you responded not a lot of you did so I'm just gonna ask you again would you like me to do a mid monthly check-in for all the signs like I did the monthly is that something you'd be interested in the monthly is doing okay so I'll do I'll keep doing monthlies for the time being but I'm asking if you'd also like a mid monthly check-in all right, let's see what we got going on. We have the Four of Cups. And this is an energy of disillusionment. This is an energy of apathy, of just being kind of fed up, kind of numb to something with the Four of Cups. It can be something that you've tried and tried and it's just not coming together, all right? It can be the on again, off again um, dynamic in your life, however it resonates. You know, if it's romantic, if it's going on with the family member, if it's going on at work. There is something coming in here. There is 
a, an offer of something new, whether it's an apology, whether it's can we talk, can we fix this, or it's something external um, that might be coming in, there is something new, okay? If you've missed out on something or you feel like you've missed out on something, there's going to be a better opportunity coming. So let's see, in the beginning of the week, here it is, we have the Knight of Cups. Two of Pentacles and the Fool. Yeah, see, I was just telling you about it. A brand new beginning with the Fool. I feel like it's an opportunity, an invitation, an offer that you weren't expecting. You weren't expecting to have an option, right? I feel like you may have had your mind set on something or your heart set on something and it might not have gone through or it didn't go the way you would hope. King of Pentacles could be something to do with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn in your life or something to do with your business or your finances, your career. Uh, you were trying to get something going, you were trying to work with someone, right? Um, or get something and you may have attempted it a few times and it didn't. It still didn't happen. On the heels of that disappointment, I feel like there's something there's something coming in that you don't see coming, you don't expect, you don't anticipate. Now it could be from the same person, some the same company, the same individual, um, that again, either you didn't hear back and you assumed you didn't get it for some, or you didn't get the response you wanted, you didn't get the, the reaction you wanted, and so you're kind of disappointed because you think it's just not gonna happen, or it's not worth it, or um, they disappointed you somehow. So whether it's from that same individual, same person, same company, um, they're making you a counter offer. If that's the situation, you think it's done, you think it's ended, that's it. But they're actually, they're continuing the negotiation. They're making you a counter offer. Um, this is where, you know, you don't get one job, but they're coming back to you and saying, but actually we think we, you'd be actually better in this role. Um, or, you know, you interview with one manager, company comes back to you and says, you know, yeah, actually they've left the company, you, you're now going to have this manager, and then you're thinking, well, I don't know, how do I feel about that, I really like that person, I don't even know this person, you still, it's, it's you know, it's still an offer, it's still an opportunity, it's just how you, if you want to adapt, if you want to adjust um, to pursue it, right? Um, for those of you, there's definitely, there could be some sort of yeah, apology, offer, uh, invitation, asking for forgiveness. There could also be some sort of gift presented to you, an opportunity to start fresh, an opportunity to start over with this energy. And again, maybe it's in a situation that you thought was done. And for some of you, you will go for it. For others of you, you're going to keep going, right? You're, you'll pursue something else. Because this, I feel like you may have given this as many chances as you are going to. All right, let's keep going. Midweek, we have the Five of Cups, we have the Six of Wands, and the King of Swords. Yeah, for some of you, you're rejecting um, one offer, or rejecting rejecting a situation, rejecting a person, or their their apology, not accepting their apology, or whatever it is. Um, and you just you're going to keep going. You're going to keep moving. You're headed in a different direction. You're done with this person because you're choosing the King of Swords over the King of Pentacles, or the King of Pentacles over the King of Swords. However, that resonates for you, okay? Um, and they could represent different people, or they could represent different companies, different industries. Sometimes, right? You're choosing to take your business elsewhere because, for some of you, the counter offer isn't acceptable. Um, so it's, you're headed into some sort of strong negotiation here. But for others of you, um, I feel like even if the counter offer isn't acceptable with the Five of Cups, you're like, mm, Four of Cups, Five of Cups, talk about it, Six of Wands, your choice is going to be do you get back to them? Do you get back in the ring and negotiate? Okay? Um, because I feel like you do have a sense of victory with the Six of Wands. You do have you know, getting what you want here, and then it's made official right away. There's a contract coming in, right? So don't be afraid to play the game. Don't be afraid to ask for whatever it is you want. At this point, you have nothing to lose, remember, okay? Whatever disappointment is, loss, rejection, perceived loss, whatever that is, it's already happened. You got nothing to lose. So why not go, could we do better here, you know? Is that the best you can do? Why not do that? Why not go, well, actually, 
I've made other plans now so I, I, I could still do this with you or I could still start, it's just going to be a different date. And they go, well, that's fine, we'll adjust the terms, we'll put that in the contract, send it right over, sign it as soon as you can, right? That kind of situation. For others of you, again, if this is something, there's something being formalized here, whether you're accepting and, and agreeing to the terms of a new contract or you're officially putting an end to a contract because the negotiation fails, there's something being made official here. Towards the end of the week, here we go. We have the death card, Scorpio energy, three of swords, yikes, and the lovers. Yeah, it's definitely a big choice being made here because, and it'll be different for everyone. Um, we are during a Mercury retrograde when I'm recording this. So for a lot of you, this can be someone reaching out to you from your past. And it can be that, you know, you're happy to hear from them and they're asking to see you and they're asking to meet you and to pick up the negotiation or to go on a date, pick up, start, get to know each other again, whatever. And when you do that, turns out, more of the same issues are creeping up to the surface. Nothing's really changed. And that could be your, realiza your realization to go, well, that's done then. It's done, it's dusted, but it's finally over. No more chances to this thing, to this person, to the situation. You have all the closure you need or you have all the clarity, all the confirmation that you need and you're making a different choice for yourself. You're releasing this, mourning it. It doesn't really hurt you that much at this point with the Three of Swords. It's just a disappointment. Oh, I wish it would have been different. I wish it were different, but it is what it is, right? And with the lovers here, you you, st you have something else that's coming in. This is always a choice. You have something else that's coming in, okay? The death card, same thing. It's not just an ending. It's an ending in order to make room for a new beginning, okay? So if you're parting ways with your company because they don't want to make you permanent, because they don't want to give you that promotion, because they don't want to give you that raise, um, or what they're offering you isn't good enough, quite frankly, and it's not what you deserve, right? It's okay to be proud, six of wands, have that healthy sense of pride, and to say, you know what, if that's the best you can do, no thank you. Because you're gonna have a different company contacting you, a different person contacting you, a different opportunity on the table for you. For others of you, even if it's not about something new coming in, this is where you finally have peace in your heart on a situation that you were always divided on. You always had internal conflict when it came to that person, when it came to that situation. Um, always wondering if you made the right choice, always wondering if, you know, what if, what if that is the right opportunity and I'm not seeing it? Or what if it's not the right opportunity and I'm missing out on other things? You had confusion in your mind and in your heart. And as a result of what they're doing now, that puts an end to the heartache, to the heartbreak, and to you being in two minds when it comes to the whole thing. And it finally gives you peace of mind. It finally gives you that clarity. It finally gives you that closure to say, oh no, yeah, this is definitely the right decision. I don't wanna be here. This isn't the right thing for me. This isn't the right person for me. I'm 100% sure and I'm at ease and at peace with that. So you can finally release a burden, right? And completely close out a cycle that's been recurring in your life, right? And for others of you, I, I just see your first choice falls through, but the second one is even better, okay? So whether that means the counter offer that's following the initial negotiation, then that's better, or that means a different person, a different company, a different opportunity, okay? I feel like the first one you go for, the first one you reach for, the first one you apply for, the first one you have in your mind, or the only one you have in your mind, right? That is what is causing you heartbreak, heartache, disappointment, it falls through, it falls short. And you're gonna have a choice of accepting something less than what you want or less than what you deserve, however that resonates. Or saying, can we do better? And then that's gonna be another choice. Or saying, it's not what I want, it's not what I deserve, I'm gonna go a different way. And you're gonna have a, a something else coming in as a result of that. All right.
but it comes down to the six of wands energy it comes down to you knowing your worth and you being proud of who you are and what you have to offer and what you have to give and being fully aware of your skills your talents what you bring to the table and what you deserve to be given in return right and not being afraid to say no or not being afraid to ask can we do better can you raise that can you make that a better offer or just to say wh what it is that you want okay is it 100 percent that they're going to give you that maybe maybe not but that's the starting point of the negotiation you know what i mean your demands your expectations your wants and needs those are the starting point of the negotiation it goes up or down but that's the starting point it's your terms. And don't be afraid of you taking charge and you making some choices for yourself. If you keep waiting for someone else to do right for, by you, if you keep waiting for someone else to see you, choose you, treat you the way you deserve to be treated, it, this is telling me that that's been going on a while and they're still not getting it, right? And actually, you know what? They are getting it. That's how they're choosing to treat you. Okay, harsh truth, but that's what it is. It's not that they don't understand. It's not that they don't see everything that you do for them. It's not that they don't see your value and your worth. They do. Despite that, this is how they choose to treat you. Okay, less than. Why? Because they can. Because they get away with it. And that's just, it's, the sim it's simple. Okay? So don't be afraid to say no thank you. Don't be afraid to say you need to do better or I'm out. There is always more. There is always more. Don't allow yourself to fall in this mindset of, if I lose this, there's nothing else for me out there. That's not true. That's mathematically improbable. Do you know what I mean? That's just not true. That's just not the case. Illogical. Doesn't add up statistically. Do you see what I mean? Not to mention, if you you know believe in manifestation and stuff like that, the universe is infinite. There's always more. There is always more. There's more than enough to go around. And if that's your mindset, you will find other opportunities. Trust me, you're not going to have to look very far or very hard. But if you don't ask, you don't get. And that's a big lesson here, okay? So let's see. Oracle energy and advice for my subscribers for the week ahead. Seeing both sides, 28, take a step back and try looking at this from a different perspective. And you see how you have the sharks there? You have to see your own, your own interest in the situation. And it's not being selfish and it's not being a horrible person. You're not hurting anyone, you know, if you're asking to be treated fairly. Come on now. And I see for some of you, someone's giving you excuses. Like if it's a, you're asking for a raise and they're giving you excuses, oh, well, the company's going through a hard time. That's none of your problem. That's not your problem. It's not your company. Why is that your problem? That doesn't change the fact that what you do is, is valid, worth it, contributing to the future of that company. That doesn't change the fact that you work hard. How is it your problem that the company's going through a hard time? That's the CEO's problem. What you're asking for is fair, okay? They either give it to you or they don't, in which case you got to make your own decisions, right? Don't let anyone put their burden on you. Don't let anyone make excuses as, as in, you know, make you a part of the problem, you know, and it's like, well, we're all struggling. No, no, we're not. I'm doing my work. I deserve to be paid for it. I'm showing up. I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm keeping my word. I deserve what I was promised in return. I don't care what else you got going on. That's none of my business. You know? I don't care that you can't budget your money and you're always in debt. You told me you're going to pay me back at this point in time. It's been that point in time for a while. I don't care what else you got going on. You made a promise to me. That's all I care about. You, you, we need to get a little bit more. Let's see our own interest. We're not being fair. We're not being treated fairly. We're not being selfish. We're not being a horrible person by asking to be treated the way we deserve to be treated or asking to receive what was promised to us or what was agreed, okay? Breakthrough to new dimensions. Absolutely, 25. A new endeavor is on the horizon. Innovative energy wants to burst forth into your consciousness. That's the full energy. 
until we release ourselves from a situation, they're never going to let us go. If our being in that contract, in that commitment benefits them, they're never going to let us go. They're always going to try to breadcrumb. They're always going to try to keep us there and keep things going the way it benefits them. Until we free ourselves, we're never going to be free. If you do free yourself, that's what's coming. The fool, death card, the lovers, big, big change, positive change. Childlike devotion, 50. You are multi-talented, a multi-talented, complex being. Embrace and love who you are. Again, it goes back into self-love, self-respect, pride. Don't let people look at you and think you're naive. Don't let people look at you and try to take advantage of you. It's time to change that. It's time to change that. It's time to show up the way we want to be treated. And shared inspiration, 20. Throw yourself into a new project. Be willing to let go of time constraints and rules and really be aware of whatever fulfills your heart. And that's the two energy, the lover's energy. You have a new contract, you have a new partnership, a renewed one, but upgraded for some of you. But that's not going to happen if we don't ask for it slash demand it depending on the situation right and at the end of the day with the death card here in the fool it's really important that we don't get too attached to a thing be attached to your goal but be flexible with how you get there meaning there is more than one way to reach your goal it doesn't have to be with that person it doesn't have to be with that company it doesn't have to be with this particular role in this particular place in this particular way and when we open our minds like that, break through new dimensions, break through your limitations, right? When we open our minds that way, it's a case of, are you gonna take me towards my goal or are you not? And it becomes very simple, it's math. It either adds up or it does not. And then that gives you the truth, the clarity. It takes away all that doubt. It takes away all that self-doubt. It takes away all the guilt of you even thinking about looking for something else and, you know, because it's not what I deserve and that's fact and I deserve to get what I deserve to get I deserve to get what I give that's just fact you know so it takes away all of that it takes away all the confusion it takes away all the doubt it takes away all the guilt it takes away all the murkiness and messiness and heartache and heartbreak and disappointment and confusion it's hard facts it's math be clear on your goal and ask for what you deserve. Worst thing they can say is no, in which case, trust me, there is someone who will say yes. You just got to keep looking. You got to keep it moving. Okay? So that is what I have for us for the week ahead. Really nice reading. Very, it's, it's really interesting. It's very nice. I hope it helps. I hope it gives you this perspective that you can embrace and apply and really turn something around in your life because the time is right for that. With the Fool, the Death card here, and the Lovers, the time is perfect for making switches, aligning yourself to better things with better people and better circumstances to lead you to what you deserve, okay? So, hope this helps. I'm going to leave it there. Um, check out your monthly and let me know if you want a mid-monthly check-in as well, please. Have a great week. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.